Unfortunately, guys, I have some bad news. Star Trucker just came out, and it's a bad game. I love space, and I love trucks, so you'd think this would be the perfect game, right? The concept of long-haul trucking in space sounds awesome. However, this game completely botched the gameplay loop, and it has so many fatal flaws that I can't recommend it to anyone. Right off the bat, the controls are horrible. There's no HOTAS support, so you can't play the game with a stick and throttle. The developers said that they're working on this, so it'll probably be added in the future, but releasing the game before adding this is such a huge L, especially because there is literally a stick in the cockpit. It would be like releasing Euro Truck Simulator 2 without steering wheel support. Also, you can't rebind the controls. That's such a weird decision by the developers. It makes the game feel like a tech demo rather than a finished game. One more thing about the controls, the ship does not have 6 degrees of freedom, meaning it's unable to strafe and move vertically. I understand that this was probably done to make the ship feel more like a truck, but it's so weird to have a spaceship that can't move in all directions. It makes the game unnecessarily frustrating. So all in all, the controls are terrible. Next, let's talk about the gameplay loop. Why do people play trucking games? The big reason is to enjoy the feeling of being on the road. When you play a game like Euro Truck Simulator, the whole essence of the game is the fact that you have a steering wheel in your hand and your foot on the gas pedal. The enjoyment comes from being on the road for an extended period of time. In Star Trucker, the world is not open. You're confined to these little maps and you travel between them via a loading screen disguised as a hyper jump gate. What this means is you do a few minutes of driving from the cargo area to the gate, then you watch a cutscene, then you do a bit more driving on the other side of the gate. There is no feeling of long haul trucking. There's no meditative state of being on the road and keeping your truck in the lane, watching your speed and avoiding road hazards. This is just a major flaw in the entire concept of the game. Now let's talk about the final nail in the coffin, maintenance. I literally daily drive a luxury space yacht catamaran with a 20 person crew and the maintenance costs don't come close to the truck in this game. The truck breaks whenever you hit space debris and there's a ton of space debris. Every time your hull gets punctured, you have to put your spacesuit on and go fix the hull, which means literally just looking at it and holding down the mouse button. Adding to that, your truck is constantly running low on batteries and other consumables like computer chips. Every time you do something, you find yourself running low on batteries, so you have to go dock at the store and buy new ones. You can't recharge the batteries, so you have to sell the empty ones and buy new ones. The whole game is basically just babysitting your truck while doing short little deliveries in between maintenance. You constantly have to dock your truck at the shop or the maintenance yard, and you also don't make enough money from the deliveries, so you're constantly trying to avoid bankruptcy. It's more of a survival game than a trucking game. Also, the just-in-time missions are absolutely horrendous. If you arrive early, you have to literally sit and wait several minutes in real life because there's no waiting mechanic in the game. Your truck has a bed in it, but you can't use it to pass the time quickly. This is something the developers should have added to the game before releasing it. As you wait for your delivery window, your truck burns oxygen and electricity meaning you have to spend more money on batteries and resupplying your systems. It's an extremely frustrating game that fails to achieve the zen state that other trucking games provide, so for now I'll stick with Euro and American Truck Simulator. Maybe the developers will improve this game with all the feedback they receive, but honestly, I wouldn't hold your breath. Another space game horribly botched by the developers.
In conclusion, I hate to say it, but this game is even worse than No Man's Sky.